All right, so we have new lighting. Look at this. This is the Hue system. It's really nice in here. It's kind of dark right now, but we can set it up for as bright as you want. But we're going to try some experiments. I'm, I'm, I'm working on getting my life back together. I was gone kind of most of de December and January, you know, traveling, doing the lecture seminar thing. And then I came home kind of didn't have it together. I mean, I was like, like out of work mode and in that mode. And then I got sick and holy smokes did I get sick, but we're feeling better. Finally, three trips to the doctor, two trips to the urgent care, one trip to the doctor, but we're getting there. My health is good though. I did a full physical and full blood panel and everything, allergies. So we're good. Anyway, we're going to try something here. So I've got these stereo pedals here, the Mobius and, and a few of those H9s running into the loop. And what I did was I took the left side and I went in and out of the match list, took the right side, went in and out of the rectifier or vice versa. No, rectifier left, match list right. So, and, and I realized, like I was thinking about this today to do, and then I was like, oh, well, the cabinets are kind of right on top of each other. So this is not, this is by no means like, some scientific anything, but I just was wondering if it would work uh, to run two amps like that because I could configure something for it, but whatever. But anyway, that's it. So it's going to be clean with the Strat and um, guys, I was so sick. I was so, and I was on such a roll, man. I was like focused and doing good and, and man, the last like, 10 days has just been unbelievable, but we're feeling better. I didn't totally lose my voice either. I mean, it's hoarse, but it's, it's okay. So we're going to, we're going to go to screen capture and I'll catch you guys later. Now tonight we are so excited to introduce our first guest. He's been on our show before and he's here again to lend his expertise. Please welcome celebrity vocal coach, James Lua. Okay, so yeah, so now we're here in uh, in the we're putting the yo in studio. Still don't feel totally good though. This is crazy, but the dark blue here are the matchless. It's a uh, fifty-seven and a TLM one hundred and two, and then the VHT is the same thing. It's uh, a fifty-seven and a one hundred and two. I got really hooked on this combo. I really like it. Um, okay, so now let's kill this. So, and these are both just clean. No effects are on. So that's, uh, first channel of the match list with the Strat. And I guess we could try panning this left. Should be over there. And then we'll pan, and then what we'll do is this is the clean channel of the multi-watt dual rack. Now let's do them together, left, right. But again, the cabs are kind of right on top of each other. Well, let's just let's just take them and see if we can level them this way. So they're now they're perfectly level. a little loud so you know we'll just come down with it here just do this manually the matchless is going that's enough for rock and roll the matchless is going uh, into two api 512s and the uh the the vht which is actually the mesa is going into uh yeah the vht is the mesa and that's going into the uh, to Brent Averill 1073. So anyway, we'll record a second of this. Just look at it. Totally dry. Yeah, 
that's nice. And so there is some bleed, you know what I mean? They're crossover a little bit because they're in the same room, but you know. Still pretty cool. Now we can try some effects, right? So let's go to, and I've got the app here with the three even tides. So if we go to the first even tide, we go to that, let's say, vintage delay and just hit classic chorus. Here's classic chorus. <laughs> Pretty nice. Let's let's uh, you know, we'll just we'll just start recording this. Okay, now. We're gonna we're gonna let's check this uh, this panning, making sure left is left and right is right. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll just get rid of this. We'll go to back to algorithms. I think Mondelay has a built-in. No, which one is it? This is my other job. Is I'm really gonna get this uh, down to a science. No, it's not filter pong. Which one is it? Bandelay? Oh, there's one that's just there and it's simple. I can't remember what the heck it is. Digital delay? No. Oh. I know my videos kind of suck. Sorry, buddies. Which one is it? Um, well, whatever. I'll, I'll just make it up. I'll, I'll make this work. Hold on. So if I go to, no, no, ah, go back here, go to, uh, no, let's just go to my delay, my basic delay. Okay, so we'll go back to, uh, not vintage, uh, tape delay. Okay, so we're in tape delay and now we're on JL tape, which is like a, right, so we're, so now, Right, so we're on all delay A. Which is that coming out of both of them? Yeah, there's big now here. Yeah, see, I don't know if that's bleeding. This may not work, but we'll try it. Uh, now we go to, to B, which is the dotted eighth. And then we'll go to the left side. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. I don't know if it's just bleed, but anyway, here we go. We'll split them. So now it'd be, in theory, uh, you know, left, right. Oh, yeah, you can hear it. So it does work. So that's that's using two amps as and through with a stereo loop. So one side is here is uh, well, let's kill it totally. So here I'll shut off the match list. So now you're just going to hear the VHT, right? But see, it's still getting picked up. Here's the match list. So it's still going to get picked up on the match list. That's the match. <laughs> which is nice, right? Now if I kill the Mesa, it should be nothing. Yep. Now if I turn on the match list, it'll reverse. Yeah, and there's a little bit of, there's a little bit of bleed, right? So if I kill this, now I'm on the match list, but now you're gonna hear what is the bleed to the, to the Mesa. Yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, it's a little bit, but. Dude, our favorite records, man, there's all kinds of bleed. Has anybody ever listened to the 
the is it the individual tracks for Death on Two Legs or Killer Queen? And the guitars are so gnarly and messy and like hand noise, and you can hear them in the back, and you can hear drums in them, and they're just na you know. And this is the record; it's beautiful. All right, so we'll stay with that. Now we'll come here. We'll go to the second H9. Let's go to the micro pitch shift and go to the H3000. So here's the H3000 micro pitch shift with the tape delay. I don't know if that sounds good to anybody else, but I'm kind of digging on that. Oh, now let's go. Let's try get rid of the H3000. Now let's go to the chorus. There's a classic chorus. It's in the vintage, in the vintage delay in the H3 at the and the H9. So here's that classic chorus. <laughs> And then back to the H3000. These, these are just the presets. It seems like the H3000 may be just a little lower volume. Back to the classic chorus. Oh, it's cool. I'm glad I'm doing this today, man. It's I've been in a little bit of a weird space with all this not working, being sick, but this is kind of like day one. A couple of new things too. I'll tell you in a second. Back to the H3000. There it is. So, gives you a little idea. So, what I'll do now is I'll kill the, I'll kill the, uh, the chorusy thing on the H9. Let's try the chorus on the Mobius. <laughs> Feels more Leslie-ish. It's weird about the Mobius. Uh, here's the flanger on the Mobius. Oh, here's the rotary on the Mobius. Here's the vibe on the Mobius. And then here is the phaser on the Mobius. And here's kind of my favorite part of the Mobius, which is the trem. That's the one thing I can't quite get from the H9. I haven't, I mean, I've messed with it a few times, but like there's just, time is nice if I shut off the delay. So now there's no delay.
Now let's go to the third one here. See, and you go to these, like the trem pan. I don't know if this on there. I could probably mess with it. I, somebody sent me a setting in the uh, spring reverb that was pretty cool. Here's like panning trim. Maybe get rid of the panning on it and just kind of make it, I don't know. You, Yeah. Because honestly, here's Vibrato, Swamp Moon. That's kind of cool. Warped Vinyl. I'd have to mess with it, but you get the gist of it. Let me shut this off. So, because the thing I've noticed... Go back to H3000. And let's go back to our delay. Uh, JL tape delay. Oh, there you go. Okay. The thing I've noticed about the Mobius, it's got a flattening to the sound. The, the the even tides have a bigger bigifying. They to me they just sounds more euphoric. It's cool, but maybe not all the time. The thing I've noticed about the Mobius, I like the Mobius maybe better in the front of the amp. Like I don't know, in the loop, it's just it doesn't really do it for me. So let's try this. Let's try killing all this. Killing in the name of. So dry. And let's go to that third H9. Let's let's check out some of these quick reverbs and then I gotta go to work. Like here's plate. Here's plate. Let's put on guitar plate. Add a little mix. There's your plate. Let's go to your hall. Earth hall. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Just hall. Yeah, I'm not the biggest reverb guy, but maybe, you know, maybe I'm, maybe it's time to evolve. Uh, let's go to, let's go to black hole. I was watching a guy do a video of this the other day, yesterday. So I don't know, you know, I mean, I'm kind of a... Turn that mix down. I'm a little bit of a kind of more of a guitar peer guy. I don't know that you know. I don't know. I don't, I don't really hear that. That's just not my jam. I'm kind of a meat and potatoes dude. So let's go back to. So here's the delay, and all in the H9. Just my little JL delay, tape delay, micro pitch shift. That's totally stock, and this black hole. <laughs> To the reverbs. Uh, let's just let's just go into a nice hall. Let's see about going to a hall reverb. That's just Earth Hall.
I've never listened to The Wall before. What? Bo's ridiculing me. Well, it works, and it's really cool, man. It's a little bit of a weird thing, but... So that's the two amps panned left and right. Two H, you know, H9s in the loop in stereo. Strat. HT cabinet. Uh, that is becoming my favorite thing on the planet, man. It's an old beater VHT cab that I bought with these terrible speakers in it from Guitar Center about three months ago, like like paper, like I don't know, it was an old JBL thing. I don't know. I put them up for sale for like twenty five bucks. Like I said, I'm giving it forty eight hours. If somebody wants them, they can have them. Nobody wanted them. Went into the circular driveway, and I took the two greenbacks that came out of my AC thirty cab, you know, my combo, and I put them in, wired up for sixteen ohms. It's just glorious. That's this right here. Right over here. So this is the Mesa through the VH4 or VHT cab. Which I would not... Uh, which I wouldn't uh, use through like channel 3 and be, you know, because it's only, really it's only 50 watts. Matchless through the matchless cab. <laughs> Let's get rid of the effects real quick and go back to, well, let's just get rid of that reverb first. like this video I'm gonna put it out I must get back on it I am feeling a lot better so we got the new Hughes lights they're unbelievable and they run right off the app you know it's I don't know if anybody I mean this is the best way I think for the studio because and and it what I've been doing the last day since I got him is playing a lot of guitar there's no there's no uh, there's no uh, noise so you don't have to get like the step down transformer, dimmer, Staco, spend 300, 500 bucks because then it has to be installed. It's just, this is it. And then it comes with all these presets. Oh, there's Ruby. You just scroll them and it's changing. You might not see it on the video, but it's changing. Lovebirds. Smitten. We're smitten. Glitz and glam. That's it. And then I guess it goes back to City of Love. Okay, and then I got a little like slider. I can make it bright. I can make it dark. I'm still I still like kind of working half in the dark, you know. But there it is. So one or two other things I have to figure out. Oh, another question: Is anybody out here have this UA Golden Reverb pedal? Is it cool? Is it like, you know, I'm not the biggest reverb guy, but I. I, I think I would be more apt to use reverb with that pedal because I like the way it sounds and I don't know it's tactile and simple and it's stereo in stereo out so go through this rig. Um, you know what I was thinking of getting another Al Capistan but I don't know the tape delay in the in the even tide is probably more than good enough for me. But anyway, um, and that that was that's kind of what's on my list of things to do. Yeah, that's it. So we did it. I gotta write down Jake's baseball schedule for the springtime. But anyway, uh, yeah, man, like and subscribe. Let me know, you know, what what you guys think, and we'll just go from there.